Welcome to Straddled Events. On this channel, we bring you the truth. Sometimes the truth is quite ugly, unbearable, and you just don't want to deal with it. But on this channel, you're going to get it anyway. We deal with controversial and very highly opinionated topics. It is called Straddled Events because most people are one foot in and the other foot out. Meaning, you are straddling between the fence of good versus evil, right versus wrong. And on this channel, we're going to tell you to do better. Let's go. This video is about a woman by the name of Jacqueline Avant. She was 81 years old and she was married to music executive Clarence Avant. She was shot and killed during a robbery inside her house at the Trousdale Estates in Beverly Hills. Ariel Maynard, 29 years old, a parolee, is scheduled to be arraigned today, Tuesday, at the Airport Branch Courthouse on one count of each of murder, attempted murder with uh, and felony in possession of a firearm along with two counts of residential burglary with a person present according to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. Maynard killed Miss Jacqueline Avant at approximately 2.25 a.m. inside her home in the 1100 block of Mator Place. After he killed Miss Avant he went on uh, to the 6,000 block of Graciosa Drive in Hollywood Hills and broke into that house where he allegedly shot himself in the foot accidentally. And the teenager that lived in the house was the one that called the police. The police chief said that um, they have collected evidence connected minor to the, uh, the shooting of Miss Avant and burglarizing this second home along with the AR-15 rifle. He had a very extensive criminal record and he, therefore he shouldn't even had a firearm. According to court records, Maynard pleaded no contest to a domestic violence charge in July of 2013 and was placed on probation. But later that year, he pleaded no contest to a robbery charge and was sentenced to five years in prison. He also had grand theft auto conviction from 2010. You know, here's the thing. Some people don't need a second chance. Some people are just put on this earth to cause problems for other people. That's, that's what they're here for. I guarantee you, if you start chopping off their damn hands, they'll quit stealing and trying to burglarize people's houses. I believe that the God of the Old Testament is going to return and uh, he just going to strike y'all ass down for all this evil shit that y'all are doing. You know, you went to jail on all those criminal charges and you got out and got a, another chance to do right. And what did you do? You did absolutely nothing but some devil evil shit and did wrong. So now your ass is in jail with no bond. Thank God. Hopefully you'll stay in there. Me personally, I feel that they should just kill you because you serve no purpose to anybody. That's my opinion. Allegedly. Here goes the video. May Miss Avant rest in peace. Uh, may Mr. Avant find some type of... Oh, God. He's 90 years old. May he find some type of peace. Uh, oh, my gosh. Here goes the video.
The man accused of killing Jacqueline Avant in Beverly Hills is expected to be arraigned today. 29-year-old Ariel Maynor is charged with murder and attempted murder. Police say Avant was shot during a break-in last Wednesday in her home. She was a well-known philanthropist and wife of music legend Clarence Avant. Now at 11 o'clock, an accused killer is caught. The man police say murdered beloved philanthropist Jacqueline Avant in her Beverly Hills home was arrested today and tonight for the first time. We'll hear from the L.A. teenager whose 911 call helped crack this case. Good evening. I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Colleen is off tonight. NBC4's Beverly White has an interview with that teen that you'll see only on NBC4. If I hear a giant bang, which is abnormal, and then I'm like, oh my God, what happened? He's hurt. But then it's a stranger's voice crying out for help. That's when 17-year-old Grace realized it was not her dad making noise in their Hollywood home at 3.30 a.m. Wednesday, but burglary suspect Ariel Maynard shooting himself in the foot. He crawls outside, hence why I thought he was outside the entire time, um, basically begging for help that he was bleeding out. So I shut my door, kept my lights off so he wouldn't know I was home, and I called 911 for him. The LAPD responded and took wounded 29-year-old Ariel Maynard into custody. Now he's under arrest by Beverly Hills police, accusing the homicide of 81-year-old philanthropist Jacqueline Avant. Avant was shot at her home in Truesdale Estates, seven miles away, and two hours before the Hollywood break-in. Police credit an LAPD watch commander with connecting the crimes. They believe Maynard used the same gun in both shootings, and AR-15 was recovered in Hollywood. Throughout the investigation, we'll be going back and trying to establish a timeline of him coming to the home. Jacqueline Avant was married to Fane music executive Clarence Avant, who was home and uninjured in the shooting. Friends say the arrest won't erase their sorrow over her killing. When you think of the love that she had not only for her family, but community, it is uh, a deep pain right now. Jackie Avant was a friend. I know we use this term a lot, but truly an angel in this city of angels. This teenager also grieves for Mrs. Avant and will never forget her own family's brush with danger. When I came out of my room and the police got there with my hands up, there was blood all through the hallway and through the room all the way out to where he was um, outside, where there were also our belongings, car keys, gift cards, um, a passport, were all found in that area. Investigators say Ariel Maynard is a parolee with an extensive criminal record. He's now on a no-bail hold. A motive has yet to be determined. In Beverly Hills, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News. Identified this man as the one who killed Jacqueline Avant. His name is Ariel Maynard. Officers say he was arrested during a burglary at a home in Hollywood after he accidentally shot himself in the foot. This all happened about two hours after the shooting at the Avant home. Oh, yes, he was in the house and collecting property, and then after that, somehow discharged a weapon. Through the investigation, we'll be going back and trying to establish a timeline of him coming to the home. The LAPD collected an AR-15 rifle from the Hollywood burglary scene, and they believe it was the same weapon used to kill her. Police say Maynard has an extensive criminal record and was out on parole, but they haven't said whether the Avant home was targeted or was chosen at random. Her loss is being felt across this city. NBC Force Kim Baldonado now has a closer look at the legacy of giving she leaves behind. For more than 50 years, she was the wife of music icon Clarence Avant. But Jacqueline Avant was also a pillar in the black community. This is hard. Michael Lawson became emotional talking about the woman he says was the most gentle and loving person he'd ever met. This was not just a robbery. This was not just a random killing. This was a shot to the hearts of all of us. As president and CEO of the Los Angeles Urban League, Lawson is one of many who saw firsthand how generously the Avant family supported the community. Someone who was a philanthropist, someone who gave her heart to the city, someone who did what she could to help those who are less fortunate. So. Her murder was not just a loss to the family, it was a loss to this community and to everyone who she has helped. Today, community leaders across L.A. County spoke about the legacy Jacqueline Avant leaves behind. Jacqueline was an angel. Um, 
she cared not only about Brotherhood Crusade, but so many other nonprofits. Making her death all the more difficult for those who knew her, the violent way in which her life was taken. This is an atrocity. No one should be able to feel unsafe in their home because of what they have. This is not only appalling, it is senseless, and it cannot be allowed to continue. You just know that it will be a loss that for decades that we will feel um, in, in our community. In Los Angeles, 